Yo, this is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors are Alpha Claims and Hire Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company. Get a replacement car anywhere in one hour. I really appreciate you joining me today. This is part two to a story that we started yesterday. I couldn't fit everything into that video, mainly due to having to translate a lot of the Dutch reports from the police of their involvement. As I said yesterday, there was worldwide arrests in relation to a chat app that had been monitored by the FBI in America. And they worked alongside several different international law enforcement agencies to make these arrests. But in the UK, they've been very secretive as to how many arrests and who they've arrested in relation to the NCA's part. There is also a lot of misleading information in the press as well. This is due to how secret this actually was. This has been ongoing since 2018. So this is before EncroChat. But they actually started to use it more after EncroChat went down. Because Sky News reported that this was created by the FBI. But this isn't true. This application, Anon, which has been reported as Anon in some publications as well was actually hijacked by the FBI. This application existed separate to the FBI. It wasn't made by them. They just took control of it and then started to monitor criminals' activities. They have led to more psychological warfare by telling the criminal underworld that there was introduced to them by informants. And they say there was 12,000 people using it from 300 criminal gangs in 100 countries. And the only thing the NCA in the UK have said about it is that they've carried out multiple operations as a result of a sting, codenamed Operation Trojan Shield. A spokesperson for the NCA in the UK said they're proud to have been partners in what was an innovative and complex operation to target criminals operating globally and using encrypted communication platforms. As part of this, the NCA has conducted multiple operations targeting organised crime groups involved in drug trafficking and money laundering. The operation has demonstrated that in the face of the rapidly evolving threat from criminals, exploiting the fast expansion of technology, the NCA is committed to working alongside their international counterparts to prevent this from happening. So this is really interesting because the NCA has recently come under criticism from Dutch police for releasing too much information about their operations with other counterparts in order to get warrants and stuff like this. So the NCA are basically super quiet about the details and this is quite funny if you watch our video about the Dutch coverage of EncroChat and the courtrooms and what the prosecution say in the Netherlands about the NCA. This would definitely make sense as to why they're being quiet. They go on to say in the Evening Standard press release that they would not give any more further operational details about what had happened with the arrest in the UK or about the estimated number of Anarm users in the UK. So again, that supports my theory that they're being quiet because of recent criticism from international counterparts. So this is getting more and more interesting every single time. And as I said, I've got the Dutch arrest and everything they did as well. So that is what the NCA have said about it. And this is the official statement from Europol, who is the police force for the whole of Europe. They say 800 criminals have been arrested worldwide in the operation against encrypted communications. It sounds quite bizarre, doesn't it, to say there's an operation against you having private communications. But this is the reality of the world that we live in. The US Federal Bureau of Investigation Investigation, the Dutch National Police, the Swedish Police Authority, in cooperation with US drug law enforcement agencies, including Europol and the NCA, worked together for the largest and most sophisticated law enforcement operation to date to battle encrypted criminal technology. Since 2019, the US Federal Bureau of Investigation, they say, has worked close with Australian Federal Police, strategically developing and covertly operating an encrypted device company called Anarm. This service grew to more than 12,000 encrypted devices in over 100 countries, they say in Europol. And this includes Italian gangs, including the Mafia, the outlaw motorcycle gangs and international drug trafficking organisations. The goal of the new platform, they said, was to target global criminal crime, drug trafficking and money laundering operations, regardless of where they operated. And they used the encrypted devices with features sought by organised criminals, such as remote wipe and password duress, to persuade the networks that the criminals used to sell the device on. 
The FBI and 16 other countries worked in collaboration with Europol and intercepted 27 million messages. And they have been reviewed over an 18 month period while the Anom's criminal users discussed their activities. The operation was known as Greenlight, Trojan Shield, and Ironside. It was one of the largest, most sophisticated law enforcement operations worldwide in their history. They say they've done 700 house searches and made more than 800 arrests and seized 8 tons of cocaine, 22 tons of cannabis, 2 tons of synthetic drugs and 6 tons of synthetic drugs precursors. They've also found 250 firearms, 55 luxury vehicles and over $48 million in various currencies and cryptocurrencies and also spin-off operations that were carried out in the weeks that led to this. The criminal networks had a huge demand for encrypted communications, they said, and to facilitate the criminal activities, however, the market for encrypted platforms is considered to be volatile. And in July 2020, the EncroChat encrypted platform was dismantled by the French and the Netherlands, but that isn't true. The Netherlands have dismissed any involvement in taking down EncroChat. So even Europol have made the mistake of accusing them because the Dutch say that isn't the case. The international operation sent shockwaves through the underworld across Europe and was followed in 2021 with the takedown of Sky ECC by French police and Belgium. They successfully blocked the encrypted communications network of Sky ECC and made dozens of arrests. Both operations, they said, gave insight into the unprecedented amount of information that was shared among criminals between those platforms in that short space of time. Europol set up the operational task force for Trojan Shield, they said, and provided operational support worldwide for any participating countries. They operated as a criminal intelligence hub and facilitated the exchange of information and coordination with other investigations supported by Europol. So this definitely shows the extent as to what the international law enforcement enforcement agencies were working together to execute this effectively. In relation to what they've done in the Netherlands, Dutch police have said in a statement that their large-scale operation Trojan Shield has once again provided massive details into the encrypted communications of criminals. And they say in their statement that it's been going on since October 2019. So the FBI started it in 2018, the Dutch police got involved in 2019 and they started to take cases from former EncroChat users at the end of it as well towards 2021 as people started to leave EncroChat and Sky ECC and went for Anon. The messages were intercepted they said and this has done a lot to the crypto communication community and the government has developed and managed themselves along with the Australian police and FBI to lead this investigation. Dutch police say that on the basis of the information from the intercepted messages, various raids have taken place in the country. So far they've arrested 49 suspects, 25 drug locations, production storage and also tableting locations as well. They've been rounded up, the police say, and the police have seized massive quantities of drugs. Eight firearms and more than 2.5 million euros in cash have been found in the Netherlands in a series of raids in one day on the 6th of June. Several arrests and several searches were made across the country in separate raids as well. They said the National Unit played a massive role in the Netherlands in the investigation carried out by the National Public Prosecution's Office. The National Police Unit continues to play an important role in these types of investigations and assist international law enforcement agencies. This was a large-scale investigation and we used innovative software with millions of messages that can be analysed and interpreted and the software was made available to to Europol and shared among its associates. And also something to note as well that in the Netherlands they have raided a lot of motorcycle gangs as well and this is similar to Australia. This is evidence to suggest that motorcycle gangs are connected internationally which has always been something people knew but to say that they're connected internationally via criminal gangs is a different thing. They say the growth of members in recent years has continued and the clubs are being banned by the authorities and other brotherhoods are rising up with new names. They say that in 20. 20 provided an overview of what they had achieved in relation to convictions, arrests of members of motorcycle gangs and also the authorities' approach to them as well. They said last year they arrested several members that were leaders in the violent criminal gangs and arrested and convicted them. And they also done recent seizures where they let people hand in weapons, firearms, amnesty with no prosecution as well. 
this goes to show that this is really just the beginning and especially in the UK as well if the NCA are not revealing information they have then that definitely means they have a lot of information and this has definitely made me think about cases we've covered in the past that may be involved in this hack as well in relation to the UK and Sydney. £44 million pounds worth of MDMA was shipped to Australia that was hidden in an excavator. Three men were arrested in London and two in Western Sydney following the seizure of 450 kilos of MDMA in the port of Brisbane in the UK earlier in 2021. The joint investigation by the National Crime Agency and the Australian Federal Police was definitely a sign that they have worked together before and this may have been a part of what they were doing in relation to Anom. Australian Border Force officers found the concealment when the x-rays revealed the anomalies on 15th of March 2020. The boom had been lined with lead in an attempt to mask the 226 packages of MDMA. The excavator was delivered to the intended recipient in Sydney and the NCA arrested them and made arrests as well in the UK. So that's just one example of a case where there was connections to Australia and the UK and it wonders if there's going to be more prosecutions in the coming weeks in relation to it. So we'll definitely keep you updated and please don't forget to follow us online and check out our website as well at scarcitystudios.com for the latest updates on all the news worldwide. Peace.